Hi guys, in this video we will cover how to model an equation that depends on the compartment model of oral drug administration from the gut to the central to the periphery and excretory system. So if you focus on the diagram towards the right, you will see the system that I am trying to describe. So over here, the XG, XC, XP and XE correspond to the concentration in of the drug inside the gut, central and the periphery and the excretory system. The Ks over here, the Kas, Kc, Kp and Ke are the rate of uh, dissociation. So we will be uh, seeing how the rate constants uh, affect the change in concentrations in these different systems using a plot. So once you have the equations uh, defined like this, uh, the x prime g is minus k a x g, uh, I'll just explain what this equation is corresponding to. So it says that the concentration over here will decrease proportionately to the uh, rate constant and the concentration at time. So similarly for C, we have an input of Kg, uh, sorry, Kaxg and an input from Xp, uh, Kp, which is coming from here. And then we have two outputs, uh, that is Kcxe and Kexe. Uh, so this is how we can like form these equations. However, coming back to the function, um, first of all, we will write uh, the clearing commands for MATLAB and we will declare the initial concentration. So right now I have described X as 1.8000. So 1.8 over here corresponds to the gut concentration and 000 corresponds to the rest of the Xs. The time span uh, is 0 to 25. It's basically the hours that I have described. So it will uniformly make an array from 0 to 25 with a time interval of 1 unit. For us, it is 1 hour. So the rate constant is microgram per hour. And the rate uh, and the x is the microgram unit. Anyhow, uh, we can directly use this uh, simple function ODE45, give a function handle called ODFUN. T span is the uh, time span that we want to measure, and X is the initial concentration. The function handle ODEFUN is the one that we have to describe. So, ODEFUN uh, has to be made into a new file in the same directory. So, over here, if you look at the input of this function, it's using time and the concentration. So over here, I have uh, written the exact order that will be used uh, in the following lines. So first of all, I have mentioned the exact rate of constant to describe. So this corresponds to the rate of constant of uh, Ka. This is for Kc, this is Ke, and this is Kp. So in this order, you describe uh, vector dy dt you can name it anything i have named it dy dt and i initialize it to zero uh, four zeros because uh, we have four concentrations that we need to measure then for the first concentration i will describe k1 x1 uh, it's basically the same uh, equation that we described earlier in this diagram and we correspond the exact mathematical function in this computational model and once that is completely done, um, you can go ahead and run this command. So this will not output anything. We'll have to plot the y's that we get from this uh, data. This t variable is not really useful to us, but we can still use it. So in order to get the plot function, uh, I have used uh, the following code. So this particular function will help you to plot the 
exact time span from 0 to 25 um, hours and for the four concentrations you will be receiving a plot so if we run this code we'll see the plot happen So as you can see, the plot looks something like this. So as per our observation, it's pretty clear that the gut concentration drops from 1.8 and then slowly recedes to zero. And the excretory system uh, gradually increases from zero to 1.8. So this is how we have described the system. Of course, you can analyze the central and the periphery system as well. Um, what more we can do with this particular code that we have is to measure the rate of, um, measure the concentrations of this drug at different periods of time. So currently we are measuring after every hour. What if we have one to measure after every two hours? So for that, we can simply modify our T-span. So when we want to modify the T-span, we will just write uh, T-span 0 to 25, but we will write 2 in the middle. So this would imply that we have a gap of 2 between every uh, consecutive integer. So it will count from 0, 2, 4, 6. That is how the plot will arrive. We can do one more thing. Uh, I mean, I will show this plot soon. Uh, there's one more application that we can use, which is to plot the relative concentrations. So to plot the relative concentration, we will basically use the concentration of gut uh, and add it to the concentration of the central system and then add this value to the periphery uh, concentration and then add that to the excretory um, system. So this will help us to plot the relative concentration between these um, systems. Of course, we can see the plot for that as well. So you can read into the mathematics of it, why this makes sense. But the plotting of it is pretty direct. So the legend will help you see uh, what exactly the plot is trying to infer. And all of them, of course, begin to begin at 1.8 and then go down to zero uh, one observation that you can make is that for g, g plus c plus p plus e the concentration will remain constant at 1.8 and i encourage you to think why this is the case um anyhow for the periodic oral drugs for different periods i have already told you that you can just input the change of this variable inside the T span and see for different concentrations, uh, sorry, for different periods of time what the concentrations will be. So over here it is for two, and then I am subplotting the same plot for five hours as well. So you can see the plot that we get, and it is something like this. So if you compare the four states now, uh, I think it's pretty imperative that uh, when you measure after every five hours, you get a more jagged looking curve because it's not going to be as smooth as the one that you have been measuring constantly. So this is one method that you can use in order to analyze how drugs affect you in different uh, periods of time. So this is how we can model a uh, drug concentration usage using the ODE45 um, mathematical function in MATLAB. Uh, hope you learned something. Uh, thank you for watching.